But as soon as Conte came in and he started firing again, things started to turn around. There were reports of him wanting to take take a new deal. So I think his ultimate goal is winning trophies with Tottenham. And while things are looking good at Tottenham right now, that isn't going to change anytime soon. No, no, but see, 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 no, 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 I need to jump okay. in. I've been let, let, let George go, let George I go. need to jump in here because a lot of this talk about the, there's top, there's not a future for Tottenham or that there's no way that we're going to start winning trophies all of a sudden. It's just rubbish. Tottenham have changed. We've, we've, we've been building and building and building and getting better and better as the seasons get on. We're signing bigger players. We've got more money than we ever had before. And all this talk about Tottenham not being the club that we once was. Yes, you're right. We're not that club no more. We're now here at the big boy table. We're now here to compete. And all this talk about Tottenham not competing <laughs> or not going to compete, it's just you guys being scared. It, it, to me, it comes off of you guys scared. It, honestly, it I comes off of you guys being you. scared. Because really and truly, you. wait, wait, let, really and truly, give me a second, guys. Really and truly, I'm the only oh, team here that's still unbeaten this season. You guys need to talk to me nice. Have, have, have <laughs> no, some pep in your step when you stop. talk to me. Like, no, let, let's Ooh. be honest, because... Scary, <laughs> Let's be honest, scary. this season, this season, this Ooh. season, I'm quite confident. And I said it prior to Ooh, only prior to the season even starting. Like, we, we will win a trophy. We will win a trophy this season. So keep talking like this. And when we, when Kane walks away with a trophy at the end of the season, who's going to be laughing? No, no, it's, 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 look, the only thing I'll say that is that just to, to go off um, um, Terry's, um, so, so to go off Louis' points, Kane, it's like gambling. You're making a massive gamble because... I think of um, Totti and Roma. Like Totti, again, for you kids who don't remember, back in the early 2000s, he was considered probably the best number 10 in the world. And he could have gone to anyone. He stayed at Roma, remained at Roma. And that one league title he won with Roma was worth anything he could have won at any other club. So if Kane stays and wins something with Tottenham, that would be worth a lot more than anything he could win, just based off the loyalty and the degree of difficulty that would be. But it's a gamble. Because my thing is... I look at, you have to look at the landscape. When you look at the landscape, how competitive the Premier League is, a league that's not done because you already have that Norwegian dude who's pretty much um, scoring tappings from two yards out. That's going to mean that City are going to win. FA Cup and League Cup, you're going to have to go through either a City, a Arsenal, a Chelsea, or so forth. So when you just look at the competition that exists right now, I just feel it is very, very difficult for Tottenham to win a trophy as things stand right now. Hence why it's a pretty risky gamble to say, let me just stay here, have all my best years as well, because I believe I'll win a trophy. Because if it comes the end of his career, you've broken Shiro's record, but there is not a single trophy on your resume, that's cool for the Premier League. And that is still a worthwhile achievement. In the grand scheme of things, no one gives a damn about a goal scoring record if you have zero trophies as a supposed elite striker. I'll be real though. Is, is FA Cup or Carabao Cup sufficient? I don't think so no, either. It's I better, nothing. It's, I don't it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. I think it. I'm gonna do. Yeah. Can, can, I, can I just ask? Sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say I'm gonna offer you a deal then, uh, uh, George. If it, if it was you, not me personally, but just something to propose. Conte likes Lukaku, right? Chelsea obviously own Lukaku, so he comes back. Imagine, would you? I don't know. I can't. I'm not sure if your mic's on, but would you take? No. Uh, no. Lukaku and money, Lukaku. meaning that you secure Lataro Martinez as well and get that Inter Milan partnership going under Conte. Would you take something like that? It, Two cast just... players for the for the for the for the, for the role of one. Let me, let me ask you a quick. I've got I've got a better. I've got a thing. I've got an even better one. This is what I was saying earlier, and you weren't quite here, George. So, like, I feel like another reason you should cash in on Harry Kane. Now, you believe you're going to start winning trophies. I don't. Maybe you'll win a League Cup, but I'm talking the elite ones. I don't think you're going to do that. And then Harry Kane is going to be worth nothing when he's in his early 30s. It just, in terms of that's just natural, right? Players' valuation d diminishes. And you're never going to replace him because Levy is never going to go out and buy a £150 million, £200 million player. That's how good I think Harry Kane is. So why not? If you if you were told, right, you cash in on him, him now and raise enough money to go out and buy Lissandro Martinez and James Madison to go behind him, that gives you 10 years, well, eight years of quality... <laughs> Creativity is Sandro Martinez. No, sorry, uh, Lotaro Martinez. Lutaro. Sorry, oh, sorry. Oh, Lutaro, Lutaro. Yeah. sorry, I keep doing and who's that. Who's your second player? Sorry, who's your second like, player? You James, said Madison, James Madison in the hole behind him, or or a Christopher and Kunku, like players of that level, right? If you could go out and buy two of them for Harry Kane now, and that gives you eight <laughs> years of quality, would you take that deal? I mean, me personally, no, I, I wouldn't. Like, I'm, I'm hearing all this thing about eight years of quality, all of this. I just I don't think they offer what Kane offer, and yes, it may give me, it may, it may, it may secure a future for a few years. But Harry Kane is guaranteed goals. You, everyone's talking like he's only got one or two years. 
one yeah, or two years left. I'm pretty sure he's only 29. Uh, Joe, Lewandowski yeah, is 35 is. playing his best football that he's played in his career. Harry Kane uh, is... Uh, let me just stop you there. Again, when you always say the excuses, I can give you a thousand other players that are his age or that are not... You can, so, but you're not, you're not talking about world... Let, let's let's talk can about... I just, can I ask... Can I, 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 I put a just one wage... One I, want to, just, just I want to do one friend, friendly wage bet with you. A friend, friendly wage bet. Right? And the money goes to charity from my side. I don't, I don't do wages. wages. I don't do wages. You can tell me have a rubbish. Can we can we have a friendly bet that you're because I I believe you're not going to win absolutely anything this season in terms of trophies. So can we have a friendly bet that you're you're not going to win anything and you obviously you believe you are. So do you want to have, do you have a friendly bet on that? Well, what what do I get out of that? We, we, we can revisit this bet because I'll I'll think of something for <laughs> Listen, Arsenal. Uh, you're, but, but, you're, you're claiming you're you unbeaten. Team? Ooh, but you, wait, you wait, seem wait, so wait, confident. Wait. You 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 were so confident, right? And and the chat heard you like five minutes ago. So I, I'm just asking that. Do you, I, why, I am why confident, not? and there is there's already a clip on the clips channel. If you go have a look at it, me saying we're going to win a trophy from months ago, so I'll I'll stick to that. But just very briefly on my point, Lewandowski, Benzema, these are players right now, world class players at Kane's level. Kane has performed with these guys for the last five to six years, if not better at times. So I expect Kane to continue to perform as he has over the next four to five years and people need to stop writing it off like he's only got a year or two left he has a long he time hasn't performed at the level because he's, he's been, been better, yeah he's been, been doing but they've been doing consistently in champions league and we're talking about matches that of high quality and high intensity. Season, they, had, they, no he but he hasn't one, done it like that season. he hasn't really done it in the champions league as much as they got they don't go to advanced rounds that they do they have to play more like you could say high level football and everything season in season out Kane has been doing season Kane in season Kane out. have both been to the same amount of Champions League finals in the last five years so this is just a load of rubbish it, it honestly is it's like people are trying to use and these who, who, who's been to the same amount uh, Kane and Lewandowski Lewandowski has been to two in the last five Do years oh sorry the last five years oh so, okay. okay yeah but then if we go to the last like like 14 years, Man United have been to one. Like, I'm not going to count it though. Like, I get your point, <laughs> but like, Levin, the thing is with, with Harry Kane, I get, look, he might go on to be 34, 35, still scoring, still bagging. I think the big risk is this new deal of his. If he decides to sign mm -hmm. it, in my opinion, and look, right now, when it's contemporary, I've seen people in the comments say, I think breaking Shearer's record is enough to be put amongst the Premier League elite. For me, this isn't, a, this isn't Kane slander. This is just the standards I have. I won't put a Man United player into my own club legends until they've won at least three Premier Leagues and a Champions League. You've got to, you've got to do it, you know, because you don't, you don't get to chat yeah. at my other, my other legends who have achieved those things. It just doesn't make any sense. Like for me, you can't. I cannot be a better 100 meter sprinter than Usain Bolt until I've at least won a couple of Olympic golds. Like you just can't chat to, you can't chat to him. But you've obviously got to break the world record. That's an individual sport, though. It no, would be no, fair. No, that's no, 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 I, 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 I get your point, right? But only to a degree. If there was a player right now who was as good as Thierry Henry, but he decided to stay at a football club that doesn't win, that ain't my, that ain't Henry's fault. He should have gone to a club that was where he was able to win yeah. and shine yeah. and, and deliver in a, those high-pressured moments. And we all know those high-pressured moments exist. Because let me ask you a question, George. When you were playing in Champions League semi-finals, Champions League finals, in that one season in your life where you in a, when you were in a title run, how were you feeling before games then compared to games before you were going into quarterfinals of Europa Leagues? I, I know how you feel, and that probably explains why Omri has zero goals in eight cup finals. Okay. On, don't, you, know what? <laughs> you know what's annoying, though? No, but you know what's annoying, though? I feel like I've actually tried to sort of defend Harry Kane more than some of the other panellists. And when you do stuff, like I didn't that, come yeah. for you, Gunnelly. I'm just. No, no, Terry like, kept mentioning high pressured moments. That's a high pressure no, moment. No, 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 here's all the big moments he's come up in. Hold on, Terry. Let me let me let me let me get him. Let me let me get him. Let me get him. Hold on, let me get him. Right. When you say stuff like that, yeah, you have to think. No matter what, Henri's won things. You can't discredit a man for that. That's the first. The second thing, but he hasn't scored in the eight finals, though. That's that's sorry, that's a blemish. And I love Henri, I love Henri, but yeah, I was right. shocked when I found out. Yeah, I, I was shocked when I found that out. It is a blemish, but the point is, it's it's one thing you yeah. can find everything else you'd want to do as a player. Henri achieved for an attacker high level goals, high level assists, consistent performances in high pressured seasons where his teams are in title races. He's won every single but trophy. Never scored in the final, Terry. Come on, man. Let me finish. Wait, wait, wait. Can I just, can I, can I just, can I just say, though, yeah? Can I just finish the point? Let me finish the point and have hope. He's done everything else in football. He scored in every other type of game. 
So yes, there's one thing that he hasn't achieved, but you could probably find one thing, i.e., do we, do we take away what we all feel about R9 because he didn't win a Champions League? Therefore, he didn't score in the Champions yeah. League final. You can find something about every player, but Harry Kane has loads of boxes not, not ticked. Loads, too many. Uh, if, we're, if we're going off that premise, right? If you're going to take eight games out of the a multitude of games that he's played and said he hasn't he hasn't been as effective, I get you. Okay, fine. But we're the comparative. Harry Kane's played over what three hundred games and got no trophies. So how can you then? How can you level that at Henri? He's been contributing to teams that have won major trophies. The Champions League, he left to go and win. He did it. The World Cup, European Championship, he's won Premier Leagues, he's been top goal scorer that have been directly proportionate to us winning trophies. So it's not just the empty goals and nothing that's gonna that, that has been there. You think of Van Nistelrooy. Van Nistelrooy, why was he upset? Because he wanted the goal score, top goal scorer as well as winning that league of that trophy, the Premier League. Sorry. But can't discredit him as a as a player because he did it in the league at the time, but he just wasn't better than Henri. So when we think about the likes of Salah at this moment in time, and you compare him to a son with, with a Harry Kane and maybe, let's say, Harlan at this moment in time, the issue that you've got with Harry Kane is he's got all these games with no trophy. George, I want to ask you, are you not embarrassed for him? He's got all these goals, 200 plus goals, whatever it is, and no trophy. Are you not embarrassed? 